Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. So guys, in this video we are going to talk about the different types of plant layouts and how that plant layout affects the overall production system, how does that uh, plant layout affects the productivity, production system, how that affects the end product and uh, its quantity, whether it is automation is possible or not, whether we can maintain the flexibility in the plant while selecting the plant layout or not. So guys, all these terms we'll, we'll check out over here in this video so guys please stay tuned till the end and guys please do subscribe to my educational channel ingenious academy over here at my channel you will learn the different uh, different uh, subjects different topics regarding engineering so guys along with that just press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new video so you'll get an instant notification so guys without wasting any time let's begin the today's topic that is of different types of plant layouts So plant layout is nothing but the layout which consists of the arrangement of your resources, of your facilities, of your machines. So basically the arrangement of your machine in such a way that it will uh, give you the higher production rate, it will give you the higher flexibility, it will reduce the material handling. Also the we need to consider the investment also while selecting a proper plant layout. So these are the things we need to consider while selecting a proper plant layout also the quality of the uh, end product it has to be like in a such a way that you can select any plant layout but it doesn't affect your quality the quantity quantity is nothing but the mass production that is whether uh, the production system can be of the job shop or else the batch production system or mass production system but the plant layout needs to be selected in such a way that it will produce the much quantities and without affecting the quality so that is the main objective while selecting a proper plant layout so guys there are four basic types of plant layout the first one is nothing but the product layout or line layout the second one is nothing but the functional layout or we can call it as the uh, process layout so process layout functional layout the third one is nothing but the combination of these two which can be called as the combination layout and the last one is nothing but the your fixed position layout so all these four types of the plant layout so guys let's check out all these types one by one so the first type of plant layout is nothing but the line layout or we can call it as a product layout in this type of layout all the machines are arranged based upon the sequence of operations and this particular type of plant layout is best suited for automobile industries for mass production systems so over here in mass production system the quantity of the product generated is very high and uh, as the quantity is very high sometimes that particular uh, that particular phenomenon affects the quality of your particular product but sometimes that particular quality is depends upon the company policy and it varies company to company so the yeah the this is this type of line layout is suitable for the mass production system so in this type of layout you know a particular raw material started at one point and you will get a finished product at the end of the line so the product moves in a straight line in a line so that's why it is called as a line layout so this particular type of line layout is like the material handling if you talk about the material handling the material handling is very much easy as this particular product moves in a single line so that's why the material handling is very much simpler in this case if we talk about the inventories you know the tracking of the inventory and the maintaining the inventory is becomes very much easier over here in this case as the material handling is easy if the material handling is complicated then maintenance like the maintaining the inventory it becomes also complicated so if you talk about the initial investment initial setup cost is very much high as this type of production system line layout is you know it is uh, suitable for mass production system so that's why initial investment cost is very much higher or uh, in this case and uh, if we talk about the product customization or maintaining the flexibility over here so that is not possible over here you have to get a uh, one product at one line so if you want to like add on the different type of product you have to add on the different number of lines so that again implicate the cost so that's why the product customization and the maintenance maintaining the flexibility of the product is not possible over here in this case 
So moving ahead next, the next is nothing but the functional layout or we can call it as a process layout. So why it is called as a process layout? The first one uh, in the line layout, the product moves into a line. So that's why it is called as line layout. In, over here, in this case, all the machines, all the facilities are arranged based upon the similarity of the operation. So the similar machines like uh, if we visit a uh, sheet metal industry, all the bending machines are kept together, all the sharing machines are kept together, all the hydraulic presses are kept together, other like the machining areas that is the milling machine, lath machine, drilling machine, there, there is a separate department for that. So there are the different areas such as for the welding also, there will be the different area for the welding. So this is nothing but the functional layout or we can call it as the process layout. So over here, in this case, all the machines are arranged based upon the similarity of operation. So the product flows from one department to another department. Product, suppose uh, a product goes there on the bending machine, then it goes to the sharing machine, then it is goes to the CNC. So the there will be the zigzag flow of material over here in this case, in the case of this functional layout. If we talk about the cost, so uh, cost, initial investment setup cost so that is you know that is very much on the higher side but not that much as in a case of line layout so in over here in this case like the as the material uh, flows into a zigzag line so that's why the material handling is over here is difficult there is no back tracking and side tracking of the materials the uh, material handling becomes complicated over here in this case as the material handling becomes complicated, so maintenance, maintaining the inventories also becomes complicated over here in this case. This particular type of uh, layout is best suited for the job, job shop production system or we can call it as a for the by batch production system. Over here the quantity produced is moderate and the quality is also uh, moderate sometimes and it depends upon the, uh, the manufacturer basically. So that, that was about the uh, functional layout or else process layout. Uh, yeah, but in this type of process layout, the flexibility, we can maintain it. We can, there is like the product customization is very much possible over here in this type of layout. So moving ahead, next is nothing but the combination of these two, that is the line layout and the functional layout, which is called, which is called as the combination layout. So this type of the particular combination layout consists of the all the machines are grouped together based upon similarity of operations and also there are different number of lines which uh, works parallelly and they're having uh, different types of jobs over there uh, so that uh, uh, you know one can maintain the flexibility also one can like uh, there will be the easy material handling also there will be the less setup cost also in this case. So that's why maintaining flexibility, maintaining the higher amount of the inventory is over, it is possible over here in this case of this combination layout. So this particular combination layout is best suited and nowadays adopted by many of the industries. So in order to improve the productivity, improve the quantity, basically overall everyone wants mass production. So that's why this particular uh, type of combination layout is best suitable for the mass production also and uh, like oh yeah this uh, very much like the, the the flow is there will be the in straight line also there will be the zigzag flow and uh, maintaining flexibility is you know is very much possible over here in this case of combination layout so guys so far we have seen the line layout functional layout combination layout so guys basically this type of the layouts are suitable for the small jobs which can which can be you know which can be transported from one location to the another location but what about the heavy jobs? What about the aircraft manufacturing? What about the boat manufacturing? What about the uh, like the heavy boilers, heavy heavy equipment manufacturing? What about the construction division? What about the like the architectures constructions? So over here in this case, like the heavy manufacturing, the your particular end product cannot be uh, like transported from one location to another location. So. At that type, you need to adopt the layout which can be called as the fixed position layout. So guys, over here in this type of layout, basically your product is uh, at one location only and all the resources are carried out are, and all the resources are, are brought to that particular location and then you know the all the processing gets carried out on that particular location. 
so guys over here there will be no, no material handling as the your particular end product is at the stationary state and your resources are moving over here so this type of production system is best suited for manufacturing of the aircraft manufacturing heavy automotive manufacturing manufacturing of the boilers also uh, at the construction site like all the resources are carried out are brought all the resources are brought at that particular location and then you know the actual like the working starts at that particular location so over here the manufacturing of the buildings bridges so this is the uh, this is the example of the fixed position layout so guys over here the investment cost is very much on a higher side as these are the heavy products heavy automotive products so that's why uh, the overall in initial investment is very much on the higher side if we talk about the quantity of the product the quantity of the product is very much on the lesser side as over here this particular type of the layout deals with the project only so over here less quantity is there there will be the no material handling uh, also there will be the moderate amount of the inventories over here in this case so yes this is the fixed position layout so guys over here in this video we have seen the line layout we have seen the functional layout combination layout and fixed position layout so guys i hope you understood this particular four types of layouts which are very easy to understand so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy